Hi, my name is Chloe Lonsdale and I'm the founder and joint CEO of MIH Genes. In 1970, my father was the first person to bring denim over from Los Angeles, from California. He started importing jeans, tried to sell them in London, and over the period of about seven or eight years, he opened over 100 stores in and around England, selling jeans and only blue jeans. And this is a really important part of our story because it forms the foundation of everything I do today. So between him and my mum, who he met when she was modeling the denim for him in the early 70s, they created a really incredible legacy for me to inherit when I graduated from fashion college and I really, really wanted to start in the denim market on my own. So we've been in business for 12 years, but my first pledge in the early days was to use the best quality fabric, was to approach everything with care and consideration. So it wasn't about mass volume and flogging it cheap and, you know, all over. It was about crafting a great pair of jeans and I believe if you do that, those jeans will last forever. As time's gone on and obviously innovation in the industry through textiles and manufacturing, ISCO being one of the key components of that, um, it's enabled us to really make far more proactive efforts in being sustainable. But particularly in the last five years, it's, it's become possible to do so much more. And for me, I think that the idea of being able to hand something down to the next generation or create something that has that longevity combined with the actual innovation, which means you can literally make a lighter footprint. That's amazing. So about five years ago, we started first looking at partners we could work with for the fabrications that would deliver us something better, something that used less water, less chemical, all the areas of environmental impact that we could do, we wanted to reduce. Most recently, we've launched our Paradise Capsule, which was the benchmark for us of the least impact denim we could create. We partnered with ISCO. It's fully organic denim. It's the, the lowest um, in terms of water usage, in terms of chemical usage that you can possibly have. And I think the reality of the sustainability conversation balanced with running a business conversation is a very challenging one because as long as we continue to make new product and make virgin materials, into new clothes. It is fundamentally not sustainable. The best thing to do would be not to do anything, but I think we, we are in the business to generate momentum, to, to sell clothes, and so we want to sell them with the best values, and we want to make sure that every time we sell an item, we give back, we offset it. In future, looking to actually use some of that denim that we upcycle back into the collection again. So you're closing the loop, and you have that really kind of important 360 that I think is needed industry-wide at the moment. My first jean memory, or my first pair of jeans, was when I discovered all my father's old jeans in the attic of our house. He'd been in denim retail in the 70s, and when he finished his business, he stored everything up in the attic. His dead stock jeans, and also the jeans he and my mum wore. And I remember being pretty disinterested in everything they did until I was about 14, and I sort of crept up the attic stairs to discover trunks and trunks full of denim. And from that day forth, I was in love with jeans. I remember pulling a whole bunch out. I think I probably wore them every day for a year. I went to a school where you could wear jeans every day, and that for me was my defining moment. From that point on, I thought that everybody only ever wore jeans, and that was what I was destined to do. So that stuck with me, obviously, till today.